Columbus didn't discover America. There were people here already. That's a couple sure. of my boys wouldn't put that down. They were going to school. I had to go up and have a chat with this little principal, and I made him stand on the other side of the desk while I stood on or sat in his chair. And finally, I had to stand up. And I explained to him, I've taught my children not to lie. Now you're trying to make a liar out of him, and he finally uh, caught the message. I told him you were working for me. I paid taxes, and so you're going to listen to me, <laughs> and you're not going to teach my children to lie. And so he he made an exception of my boys, and but he flunked them. Well, it seems, Got even with them. it seems to me that the lie of, of the larger culture is much bigger than who discovered America. It's as if we've lost touch with, with, with something very, very fundamental that native peoples, such as yourself, have, have kept alive. Well, they stole most everything. And somebody asked me, what part of America is it... Uh, 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 that you uh, isn't there any good thing that you like uh, about this country? I said yes. That that part that they stole, and it is very true. Even though they stole most everything they could get their hands on, our land, children, women, whatever, they took it, and the natural wealth left us very poor people. A lot of our people homeless in our own country. But the best things of all, that they had no value, was our way of life. They copied our constitution from the Iroquois Confederation. That's in a, the uh, uh, legal code books. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, they didn't invent that. They had nothing like it before. But they couldn't live by it because their heart was not, and their thinking was not in that kind of a order to live by something like that. Mm -hmm. And a real freedom and a real peace, they couldn't do it. So they violated it every day by their different interpretations, just like they do their own Bible mm -hmm. and different good books. Yeah, and so in, in losing these uh, values, they also lost a great deal in how to take care of this land. I like to teach about that. That's our job. We were delegated. We don't say we own the land. The grandfather great spirit, the one they call God, is the one that owns the land. And so that uh, we are, though, the caretakers of this land. Nobody else can do it. But there's people that can help, and we'd like a lot of people like that that would help. If we try to take your job, we'd make a mess of it, uh, somebody else's job. It wouldn't be too good because you people have the technology, and we're all needed, all of us are needed to work together. And so there won't be any such day as next war of violence. Also, that the land could bloom again, and it does in the desert where I live, and I can prove it right now. It looks like a jungle in the area right around my house, and, and it's green for a hundred miles around. On every side, different deserts, real deserts, but in the area where we live, I've seen even what they call weeds. No such thing as a weed, really. I've seen them dance when there was no wind blowing to the sound of our drums and our singing. That's how powerful that is, too. And so that we have rain, and even without the rain, these plants are still green. It's amazing. I come down here sometimes, I see uh, everything dried up sometimes in the past. And one time they was having a drought. And the water commissioners over here in Marion County wrote me a two-page legal-sized type letter and invited me to come down here uh, 
and get some rain that time. At some years back, when it was really drying up down here. And I turned it down. I had a good laugh. You know why? Mm -hmm. they, they didn't say one word about what this is going to do for me or my people. So hmm. I had, we had a good laugh, and then my people did, and, and uh, I could see it laying in the, their uh, yards over there. A lot of rusty old pipe. And yet they didn't say one word. We could have used that for irrigation pipe. Put it back together, we could have used it. But uh, it's not for me to beg or to tell them. They never offered my transportation, even. They didn't say where I was going to stay or how I was going to eat. Those people didn't. Now, I know they wouldn't ask anybody else to do anything like that. When they go to their doctors, they pay. You bet they do, handsomely. I didn't ask them for no payment. I don't go begging nowhere. And they can't treat me like that. They want, they want, they want. And they want an old Indian to work for nothing. Some of those pe politicians are the worst. Let's put it that way. I, w I don't want to talk too much about politicians. Well, there was a huge thunderstorm here in the San Francisco Bay Area two nights ago, which is extremely rare. We, we never get thunder and lightning. And Some of my good friends been after me. They've been calling me up there. I got many friends throughout the area here. Besides, I like this area. But when my friends ask me for help, that's different from some politician that ain't going to do nothing to appreciate. And yes, I've been dancing as hard as I could, doing a few other things. So uh, it's my brother over there, that old storm god. And that's the way I got my name, for that matter. I used to scream like a little eagle, what they told me, even when I was a baby and doctor. Run right out in a storm. Yeah, I love it. And that lightning flash, there's a lot of power in it, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. And I know some Indians, I don't like to talk too much about what I can do myself. I tell people I don't do nothing. That's a great spirit's power. But I do have a, a, a say-so sometimes, and I can request, you know, what. And if people deserve it, why they can have it. it, it, it uh, we like to help, too, in our way of doing things. And that, I like to, uh, it's beautiful music when that thunder rolls. You can catch some of the water uh, right after the storm. Catch it in pots, pans, any way you can, and drink it. You don't need no, nothing to get high with. You don't need anything else. You can feel that energy go all the way through you. I do that sometimes and have my feathers out there making the thunder roll and bring the lightning down and, and then stand right there in the middle of it. I'd look around behind me. Here would be a lot of my family and my people there too looking up at the show, you know. No, we don't need no heavy artillery, nothing like that. We've got it. 80,000 more times uh, energy, one bolt of lightning, than there was in the first atomic bomb what they dropped on Japan. Mm -hmm. 80,000 times more. Mm -hmm.